Hey everybody, my name is Dirty Dan. Welcome back to Honestly I'm I i can not even I can't even describe how happy I am, but welcome back to uh Mercenaries Playground of Destruction. So I got pretty decent reception on that first video. People seem to like the video. Uh I'm sure they would have probably liked it a little bit better had it not been for the jagginess. So I'm gonna do one more test video today. I'm gonna run down to the South Korean outpost and check some things out down there, do their mission, and see if I can get through it without a bunch of issues. And then if it works out okay and the audio comes out decent and all that stuff, if I don't run into any game-breaking bugs, I'm going to do a tutorial video on how I did this, kind of give you a bit of a walkthrough. There are certain things that I can't say for moral reasons. Uh, well, let's just say that you need an ISO to do it. You're going to have to mount an ISO for it. Um, I am using PCSX-2 1.6.0, I believe. It's not a hard thing to download, but we're going to start off here and just kind of stop focusing on that just for a minute. I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to do the video real quick, and I'm going to see how it comes out in recording, because honestly, it might not be recording very nicely either. So, of course, as long as the gameplay is okay. Even if the recording isn't okay, I'm still going to show you guys how to do it. I just want to see it, that it's going to play properly. There was a couple of bugs yesterday I didn't like that it was messing up on. So that's actually one of the reasons why I'm showing you the loaded screen here too. So you can kind of get an idea of how long it's going to take to load. Because I have a monster laptop. Monster computer. For what it is anyways. And the loading screens are still pretty long. I think they're a little bit longer than what they were on the original PlayStation back in the day. So, animations all look okay. There's no running or anything like that. Can't aim or anything. So, I'm going to grab this from him and make my way down there. So, come on, guys, get in. I can't tell if the textures look wonky or not. I know that I'm having to upscale it to 1080p. And there are a couple of issues, graphical, graphical glitches, kind of like what you're seeing with the headlights and stuff like that. I have it where I've got auto flush turned on, which again, I'll show you how to fix all that. It seems like it's doing better than what it was without auto flush. But <clears throat> I want to shoot him. Yep. One thing I used to love doing, and I, I know it's going to sound stupid. I used to love following these guys around, and the sounds you'd get from multiple 50 cals opening fire on those little jeeps between my outposts. Oh my god, I used to love that freaking sound. You'll hear it here in a minute, I guarantee it. Textures are not... I don't know if they're not loading properly or if this is how it actually looked back in the day. But again, this is also upscaled to 1080p. I'm also using a widescreen. So it's not going to be a uh, one to one recreation, which is kind of sad. But it's okay. Little areas like this, by the way. Later in the game, you will see there are going to be little outposts there, little uh, bunkers there you can destroy. Man, I am seriously tailgating this guy. Oh, there's a guy right there. We're going to speed it up a little bit here, though, because I don't want to spend the entire day waiting on you guys to hear that sound. Eventually, you'll hear that sound I'm talking about. My analog controls are working somewhat decently, but I'm having to use certain controls for certain things. Haha, <laughs> you got squished. That's North Korean Jeep right there. That sound you heard just for a split second, that's what I was talking about, by the way. We are coming up to the North Korean outpost. Or, sorry, South Korean outpost. I'm sorry, South Korean. Beep, beep. A lot of times they'll have a tow... Yep, right there. They have a tow missile launcher. That is not a tow missile launcher. It looked like it was. But yeah, a lot of times you'll pull up here to talk to these guys. You'll hop out and they'll park your vehicle over here or over here. But 
I'm gonna shut up and let you guys hear this part. Hey, how you doing? This is Major Park. He's a commander of South Korean forces in the area. My name's Buford. I've been the company's man in Seoul for 30 years. I'm here to make sure North Korea don't end up the smallest province in the People's Republic. Problem is, Langley didn't exactly supply me with a lot of personnel. Cash, I got. You'll get paid and then some. And we got some nifty toys. Now, if you're willing to do some simple grunt work for me, I'm gonna treat you right. First things first. Song's men are eager to take back this city. So far, Park's troops have kept them at bay. But Song is stepping up his offensive, and I don't want to lose Kusong this early in the game. So if you're up to it, I'm going to pay you to be Park's reinforcement. An army of one, so to speak. If you're interested, Major Park here will give you all the details. <laughs> Not sure what was up with my freaking animations there for a sword. second. <laughs> I'm going to cut out a lot of the animations, or the uh, loading screens, I mean, I'm sorry, because they like to be a little bit longer than I'd like them to be. Um, this section here, I always recommend getting on the machine gun. Be careful if the North Korean walk to the left or right and you are trying to shoot at them. A lot of times, for some reason, the South Korean will stand in front of your machine gun and just get mowed down. I also recommend trying to destroy as many of these vehicles as you can because you get paid every time they get destroyed. Seems like it's doing pretty good. They're coming at me and I'm not having a whole lot of frame drops here, surprisingly enough. The next area we got coming up, go away. Okay, so I'm out of ammo on this one. We're going to run to this next one over here. Run to the next area. There are some more enemies here. He's gone. <laughs> God, I miss this. The sounds, the music. I almost want to do... I almost just don't want to talk and just listen to the game. The music is just beautiful. Yeah, I don't think so. Get back here. Frame rate issues every now and then I've noticed, but not... Too bad it seems like. Oh yeah, back in the day, you'd have the vehicles flip over upside down and get, just like GTA, they'd blow up once they were upside down. I missed. The frame rate's not steady, by the way. It is a little bit wonky, but it's not game breaking. It's doing just like it did back in the day, where it would kind of dip to probably 20. You're not gonna get a steady 60 frames in this. Gotta run to the next area now. I wonder if I can keep them blowing up the tower that's over here. 
every time I'm here, the tower gets destroyed. Oh, no, hit me. Yeah, see what I'm saying? He ran right in front of me like... <laughs> Okay, so that was a frame spike right there. Might also be because of me recording, too, though. Gotta move that out of the way. I gotta shoot it again, get it out of the way. That... I am going to take this over with me, just so that I've got two of these tow launchers facing forward. I'm not going to lie to you, I don't remember them ever coming over like that before, so I'm going to slow down and let that guy, well, I guess this isn't going to do much to help. So, we're going to sit here and defend this area too. And I'm gonna hop out. I'm gonna run over here. Hop into this one. These are guided. We won. And. With that, we're going to have guys fly up behind us, unload support, and that is South Korea done. And I guess, you know what, it's doing so well, I'm going to go ahead and make my way to the Chinese Embassy as well and do their mission too. I miss flying in this game. I can't wait to get to fly again. $55,000 for this contract. A lot of these contracts will have a special objective. A special objective that you could complete, and it will give you... Uh... I just forwarded you a message from a man named Yusuf Yurinov. Nope, it was Russians. He's a okay. Domo with the Russian mom. I thought the next one was China. Out of the way. Ah, I hate damaging my vehicle here. Now, this here, you could actually destroy that and get money from it. But I'm gonna wait till it get till it actually tells us that's an objective. The textures are not the best. I'm noticing little texture popping areas. I don't want to mess with it too bad, so. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> Whenever, after you unlock the Russian tree over here, the, not the Russian tree, I'm sorry. Once you, oh god, those buses, I forgot about those. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm over here fangirling. And there's going to be this guy here. Kill him. Kill him now. Good boy. But yeah, uh, once you unlock the Russians down here and you start dealing with them, the more you deal with them, the more you unlock, the more you level up, you can actually get vehicles dropped off to you. Think Just Cause, but a better version of Just Cause. I've always liked Just Cause, but to me, this is the OG. This is the way things were supposed to be. They screwed it up badly on the second Mercenaries game and made it even... What is that? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and collect this, too. Those are blueprints. You get money for those. I'm going to go ahead and shut up again, and again, I'm going to cut this... this uh, Loading screen. Hey, 
All right, just what I need, a professional. My name is Sergei Voronov. This is my lieutenant, Georgi. We run the um, discreet supply business around here. Everyone here needs stuff, vehicles, weapons, you name it, and we supply it discreetly. That means no one asks any questions, including you. I'll kill anyone who betrays my trust. You got a problem with that? You got a problem working for a killer? Huh? Answer me. <laughs> Yosef is right. Listen, you're a mercenary. You'll be working for lots of people. I know how it is. But you want some extra cash? You come to Sergei. Speaking of which, I got the job right now you could take. I'm going to test you out. See if you've got what it takes to work for me. Bring me one of Song's troop transports. Should be easy to find, but not so easy to steal, eh? If you want in, Yosef here will give you all the details. On the other hand, you can say no and walk out that door right now. You do what you want to do. Don't underestimate him. He may act like an idiot, but he's a ruthless killer. There's something wrong with Sergei. I don't trust him. Don't worry, his lieutenant Joseph is reliable. <laughs> we did some business in Kosovo. Can't stand Yusuf. Guy's a dirtbag. Woo, I forgot about that. Well, well, well. I'm just gonna run over here because it's not that far. Yeah. You know, if I shoot and kill a pedestrian like this guy, which he does it every freaking time, then I'm a bad guy and they try to shoot at me for it. They do it and it's okay. Now, I will say, wrong button. I would try to save my flashbangs. So, I don't have C4, I don't think. Yeah, I do. I'm stupid. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to have to edit that out. I hope you guys forgave me for that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do like I always do every year and just for every year. Every playthrough and blow these little son of a guns high. Sky high. And... <laughs> Oh, what? Okay. Good boy. There are a few things in here you can do, too. I love that freaking... God, I love this voice actor. But this is the assault rifle, by the way. Fire so slowly, though. There's... Ah, SMG. Very high rate of fire. And we're going to attempt to destroy that building there. Because that is their barracks. There we go, so they can't spawn anymore. That's one thing I love about this is you would have areas where they could infinitely respawn at and they couldn't really... I don't know any other games that do that where you can destroy their spawn point. But I freaking love it. So, full back up on ammo. I reload this. I had to remember how to reload. Alright, there we go. And switch back over. I screwed up. I'll have to come back through here again later. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you guys a little trick to getting that. 
Let's see if I still got it. I do. Thought I did. Let me try that again. Trick is to get a grenade behind it and blow it forward. You know what? We're going to do this. Well, that didn't work, so we're just going to destroy the building. I think that's. I don't think I have any. More, I do have more grenades. Okay. <laughs> I want that down. Okay, I can't do that. You know what? I'll just come back later and get it. I ah, kicked myself in the rear end for that, for forgetting about that. <laughs> Bye! I don't know why I did a full circle like that, but it's okay. Ah, freaking fences. The greatest joy is the joy of duty. Always remember, by the way, if you don't want to accidentally get yourself killed, I have been, I've played this before where I had, uh, gotten that disguise thing right before I seen an enemy, which would actually be a, a friend at the time, with a rocket launcher, and he hits me with a rocket launcher and kills me. Oh yeah, let's see posts. That's another thing you can do is destroy listening posts. And you see now I've got a couple of vehicles for sale, surgical strike, Russian supply drop, allies pride supply blah 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 blah. Mafia technical machine gun. There we go. Those I are. Possible source of income and intel. Check your PDA for the email. Oh yeah, the PDA. I'll show you guys this last thing before I go. I want to make sure it's actually going to work. So I'm going to get a civilian car. Order this. It'll put it in my inventory on my left, and then I throw smoke. Just okay, like that. I'm on my way. Special delivery. God, I missed this. Um, I will say one thing is I've had issues with this before. Make sure there's no AA around you because you will lose your entire. You'll lose the vehicle you're trying to get and all kinds of stuff. I am gonna go ahead and at least make my make my way to the Chinese embassy. Unfortunately, there's no waypoint, so I'll take a. I'm gonna go by the Allied Mash, so I have to go through Pyongyang again. There is enemies over here. Squish! So, there is a number card over here, meaning there is an enemy with a bounty placed on them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to take them out. Switch over here to this. Switch them over here. You in the head. Whack you. Absolutely freaking annihilates him. Now, make sure you get away from the body until you're ready to 
take him on and shoot everything around him. Otherwise, you have issues where you'll call for reinforcements and they will get themselves shot or you, these idiots will sit there and throw a grenade at your target and kill him. Are you guys going to shoot the enemy? Yes. Sadly, you can't really hear the die. You can't really hear the sound effects, but. So far, the game seems decent. After they take enough enemy fire, they will retreat, but they do have the machine guns on the side. They have the mini guns on the side that are supposed to help out, so. And back to my car. I don't remember which one this one was. That's Park Eta Clubs. Okay, $25,000. You get half off if they die. I'm going to take a left here. And go by the Allied Nash. Mash, sorry. I'm going to take a right. Whoop. The music that's in this game, though, is extremely eerie. It's it's extremely well done. Like I did not expect to be this blown away by the music in this game. And the, it's it takes itself, in my opinion, it takes itself fairly serious. The second game doesn't do that. It doesn't like this. I'm gonna I'm gonna drive this. Just listening to the world building around it. I'm a fan of the second one too. Don't get me wrong. There's a there's a lot of things the second game does better than the first one. Like for instance, when you see me with a tracked vehicle, you'll understand. Speaking of which, are they fighting down here yet? No, they're not. Okay. Spoiler alert. So okay. Cracked vehicles though, trying to go over things like the bridges down here. That clip right there where it changes texture will completely, completely screw you up. I'm getting a little bit of frame drop here. Seems like it's doing really well though. Here we are through the Pion, P, Pyongyang Airport. I'm not good at pronouncing that. Turn! If I remember right, there was one of those things in here. Yep. Man, times never die. I'm going to park out here and then I'm going to save it because I don't. I don't want to overwhelm you guys with long form videos I'm noticing you guys are only lasting for a couple of minutes on each video I won't keep bothering you guys with it but hopefully I have some fans out here that actually like it oh yeah this is just ignorant watch watch and panic Anytime you see these right here and you need to assault an outpost, destroy that. Otherwise, you get stuck with these constantly spawning enemies. Hey, there's jets. You get stuck with these constantly spawning enemies and it's just, it's all kinds of bad. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, which is saving right now. I'm going to show you the saving process. And then it's going to take it a second to save it. The only reason I'm showing this and I'm not cutting this loading screen is so you guys can see what it's doing. So you don't freak out thinking that it's locking itself in place. I've had it freeze before. And I don't like when it does that. So. 
we're gonna go ahead and here we go if you're familiar with PlayStation 2 controls fairly well this won't be an issue for you but as somebody like me who plays Xbox sometimes I gotta think what button is what because my Y is on top. I don't have a triangle. My X is on the left. I don't have an X on the bottom. Like, like mine is A. So, yeah. I'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Like, subscribe. Ooh, no, 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 no. I want this. Dang it. I forgot the one in, uh, I forgot the one by the Allied Nash. Or, name it, by the Allied uh, HQ. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm probably going to have to go get that one again later, so. I'll talk to you guys later.